At least I am. Are you sorry? Yeah. You sorry too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we sorry, guys. We sorry. <laughs> you, know, you don't got to touch the hat too much, shorty, because you know I look good the way I am. <laughs> but, um, yeah, guys, we're sorry that we were gone for a while. We love you guys, and we miss you guys. You missed them? Yeah, she missed y'all too. Um, but... Now we're back, and we are here to do a couple reaction videos, you know. Mm -hmm. um, we got a video definitely in the making as well, guys. We got a little vlog in the making that we are shooting today, too. But you got to wait until tonight to see that one. Okay. What are we supposed to be talking about today? <sighs> Yo, I never could burp. Can you burp? <clears throat> Good. <laughs> Alright, so today we're talking about, as you guys see, we're talking about Queen signing her deal, man. Congratulations to Queen. We're a little late on a reaction to it because we like to look and observe and see, you know, things and how things are going. Um, and I know that Tamia has a very um, good point of view, and I do as well. On, you know different situations mm -hmm. that we see um but so we're gonna talk about first let's just talk about um queen signing and how you feel about her signing you know what i mean signing her first deal to capital records um like i said i don't really care because uh i don't like her anymore because the way she's been handling things and being rude and disrespectful but um i definitely do think that think that um she deserves it and that she's a talented artist as far as um getting signed and things go i think that um she put her work in and she got her record deal me i feel like it was stupid but i feel like it's all about the appearance and how you look and how you want to look i don't think that she should have signed but hey why not <clears throat> that leads to the next question. Should she have signed? No, I feel as though she shouldn't have because you make way more money being independent. Now, let me tell y'all why. One, when you sign with a record label, you are paying them to promote you, to push you, to make you a brand. She already is a brand. <laughs> she already is. She has, like, how many followers on um, Instagram? A uh, million. And what? Two? 1.2, right? Yeah, 1.2. 1.2 million. So that's a brand on there, correct? Yeah. Then she has, like, how many subscribers? Like, 2 million, 3 million, whatever. Right? That's what the record labels are paid to do. Other than that, bro, she has her own fan base of a couple million people. So she could just push out her own music and get a 100% commission for everything she puts out. It's stupid. But at the end of the day, man, I, I'm happy for her. Does she deserve it? I guess so. Um, she put the work in, so I mean, you know, God don't make no mistakes. And at the end of the day, everything that you know is coming your way is, is you know, is due. You know, so congratulations to you, Queen. Do I feel like you should have signed? No, I feel as though you should have went independent, like all these other artists, or made her own label full of YouTube. Yeah. Whew. Whew. Let me shake that off. But she could have did a lot of different things, bro. I didn't sign it with it. It's okay. Now, another point I want to talk about that maybe I observed, but you didn't observe, is who was her manager? Do you know? Clarence's sister. She, I think she already said it. Spicy management. Well, I was watching TNK Squad's um, reaction to her getting signed. They made a valid point. They said that her manager is not 
Clarence's sister and only a sister. Clarence is her manager. Mod the God is her manager. And his sister is her manager. How? Let me tell you. Do you peep how in every um, meeting they're there? She already explained it though. For support, right? Right. You cannot. And I looked it up myself. You cannot bring people that are not associated with your work into those meetings. You can't. I looked it up numerous of times. You can't. Think about it like this. You can't bring me into your interview for work. You can't. No matter if, if I'm your supporter or not, you can't. Mm -hmm. So, as I saw Clarence... You can only be outside, Exactly. Right? And as I saw Clarence and my the God, they were there when she signed her her, uh, her, um, her deal. Is it because her sister kind of got him in or her sister already knew the people? So it's Well... Like Clarence got the call that she is uh, that the record label sign wants to sign her. She didn't get the call. Oh, that's deep. You get it? Yeah. So that what's your reaction to that, man? What is the reaction to the potential? Um, the potential. What would you call it? The potential um, theory that. Clarence, Mother God, and his sister is her manager team. They're her management team. What's your reaction to that? Mine is one word. Wow. I mean, I mean they didn't bump into the right person. <laughs> they didn't bump into the right person, bro. I mean, that would make sense. And they all eating. But I feel like. If that is true, that's crazy. Mm hmm And Remember if it Spicy isn't Gang? true... Remember Spicy Mafia or whatever? They're all a part of it. And I think that's the management. Right, but I don't think that they all manage her. That's I think what I it's thought. something like a... But she has... But she... They, they all maybe work together and it, that is... Okay, what does Clarence do? His clothing line. His clothing line has no association with her. Yeah, I know. So she, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't be able to be in a meeting. He wouldn't be getting a call from the record label. But he's in the spicy. He would not get no call from the ma no man, no. Well, uh, yeah, I know label. that. That's, that's and when I of... found that out, I was like, yo, he's her manager, and it makes sense. For example, he posted the post of um, when it was when that little drone was flying to her, and she was like, royalty gang is about to get spicy. And then it flew away. He posted that first. Oh. So, if that's the case, bro, he's a manager, bro. And that's, that's, that's wild. Crazy because it's like, she, she was like, yeah, help Clarence do this, help Clarence do that. But I guess that is his, her, his help in return. The, yeah. The, yeah. Um, you know, promoting her mm -hmm. and. Um, getting her the record label or helping Because he helped her find like his sister. Yeah. So, and then. That would be her help. This That's was her. the thing where they messed, where she messed up at. I believe when the sister, when Queen met Clarence, she, um, he connected her with the sister because she was like, do you know anybody that can help me with my music? He connected her to his sister. And then she asked his sister, do you know any connections? And instead of her sister giving connections, her sister took her under her wing. But here's the problem. If that was the case, and Clarence was a model, okay? But I'm talking about before Queen. Mm -hmm. He was a model, and he was a um, clothing designer, right? Uh-huh. Why wasn't he in any of those connections? Why wasn't he, why wasn't she helping him or help another artist, My The God, for example? Uh -huh. My The God was a rapper way before Queen. Okay. Why? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. You didn't know that? No. Me, not saying that he was popular because he wasn't, but yeah, he was a rapper. And why didn't his sister elevate him? Mm. It's weird. It's a weird theory between this whole queen situation. Um, but that's our. That's my theory. That my the god. Clarence and his sister is the manager. And let me tell you this. But to cover it up 
for the Clarence not using Queen and vice versa, they use his sister as the face of the manager. And they don't tell us that Clarence and Ma the God are the managers. I don't know how Ma the God is the manager. I that part don't even make sense. But it don't make sense how on his vlog He gotta bring something to the table though. Exactly. And it don't make sense how on his vlog, right? Mm -hmm. He's the only one that put her sign in. Queen didn't even put a vlog of her signing. Yeah, I don't know what what that whole whole thing is about, but she just not like I mean she don't really post to begin with though, or like really make any music concerning it. I mean, make any like YouTube videos concerning it. Yeah. But I guess it is kind of weird because I didn't know. Yeah, and if you think about it, it makes sense. But like you said, my the guy has to bring something to the table. Yeah, he has. To I'm gonna say this. I think he's writing. He just, I think he's also writing a little bit. Yeah, he, he, he might must be, be that, doing something. The rapper part. He must. Know, he must be doing something, bro. Know how to how to write music? Because she also they they together all the time, and she also. Stated, I'm gonna make sure my whole team eat, and I mean, that's her team. So that's that's my theory, guys. I really wanted to share that with you guys and our opinion on on her. Uh, you got anything else to say, basically, like regarding the whole subject? Um, with that, and then we're gonna go into more with Queen. The reason why you don't like her? No. I'm gonna say okay. Now I'm gonna let you take over the conversation. Why aren't you like Queen? I don't even know what's going on. No, I just don't like her based off of how she's been handling things with the whole, um, she didn't apologize for saying black-headed nappy girls, though black-headed nappy girls is the, um, only ones that used to bully her in school. I mean, facts are facts, you know, like, if those were the girls that she pictured all the time bullying her, I mean, that's a fact. But it's like, what about all the other little girls that, you know, don't bully people that look like a black cat, nappy-headed girl that, you know, the girls and boys call in school that don't do anything. But because you said it, she think, oh, wow, Queen thinks, you know, this way of the way I look as well. Like, black-headed, nappy girls, that's, that, that's like, like a lot of little girls out there that, that get that, that you know, name put on them. And they don't all have to be bullying someone. Mm. So the fact that you said it, and, you know, maybe when it was a Christian Queen thing, but you elevated so much, and you're not even going to apologize or even speak to the little girl that does look like that, that don't sit there and bully people, that's corny to me. <sighs> and, I mean, I was proud of her for elevating and things like that, but I just saw that she didn't elevate. Because you would apologize for, you know... Saying those type of things, even if it was she, fact, and that's where her, maturity comes in. So I don't matter if it was a fact. Her response was the uh, thing where she was like, I, "I said nothing wrong because that's that's the truth." But it don't uh, matter if it's the truth. It's about maturity and how you make other people feel, especially the little girls that look up to you that look like black nappy headed girls with my hair that are darker skin tone. So, so let me ask you this: That's corny. So what would you say to that nappy headed girl that that thinks? You know, oh, well, that's what she thinks of me. What would you say to them? That she's beautiful. I mean, yeah, that she's beautiful. Well, what would you say to her, like? What do you mean? Like, if she watching. Who, Queen? No, the nappy-headed girl. Yeah, that, that, that. that she's beautiful. But you speak it in, like, third tense. Like, like speak to her. She might be watching right now. Oh, so what would I say to her? I would say you're beautiful yeah. and that... Beautiful you know, girl. don't ever let anyone tell you that, you know, your hair is nappy or that, you know, you're ugly or anything like that. It's a lot of girls that, you know, look like me, except I'm just lighter skin tone. Like, my hair is not, uh, uh, like, flowy or, like, I don't, like, you can wet it and it'll just be okay. My hair is not like that. And it just be, seems to be a lot of, like, so do you have controversy hair? on this hair thing. And it's just like, okay, we get that African-American people have coarser hair and that their hair is nappy. My hair gets nappy. My hair is nappy. But if you was to run a pick through it right now, it's nappy. And that's, that's facts. But the fact that anyone would ever say that it's ugly or that you're not beautiful because of it, don't listen to them, because it's not true. 
and you can be dark skinned and beautiful and you got a lot of dark skinned girls out here that got queen beat by the long run and don't don't listen to her and you're you're beautiful no matter what good <laughs> yeah. god said you are like she's yeah. just out of my I I, I, feel, I I feel as though if you're watching this and you feel as though you you fit into any type of nappy headed or anything like a nappy headed girl um, I'm going to just speak from a boy's perspective, I mean, a guy's perspective. Um, I feel like no matter what your hair is, be proud of it. Um, one thing I do hate is when people try to cover up who they are, wh what they are, wh whether it's with makeup or anything. Whatever your twist is, your twist. If you like to wear weave, you wear that weave. You wear the crap out of that weave. If you like to um, wear makeup, powder it on. But... All I'm saying is don't, like, powder it on and put makeup on because it's what somebody else said. You see what I'm saying? Or don't put weave on because it's what somebody said. Do it because you want to. Don't do it because you're trying to hide what you view because other people view it as imperfections. Because, you know, you should be happy with, you know what I mean, how you look. You yeah. look like a whole snack, no matter what. Mm -hmm. You look like a snack. A bag of chips, some Oreos, um, onions, pretzels, some cinnamon onions, rolls. Onions, pretzels, yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, a Wawa drink, a sizzling sandwich, a, a two for three, uh, a four for five, a Rita's water rice, a Waffle House, um, um, a Shake and Shack. Oh, you look like one of them Shake and Shack burgers. You know what I mean? So, at the end of the day, somebody will love you for who you are. Yeah, ain't no, ain't no black cat, black ugly nappy headed girls, cause Queen Chin look like Patrick's head. No, but we we talking about Queen, but Queen, no disrespect to her. Well, all disrespect to her in this aspect. Is she could have nappy hair. Is that weave that she wears, or, or is that her? Real I mean, hair? I think she has nice hair. I think she she does wear her hair out. Is um, that her real hair? Sometimes, sometimes not. Okay, so my thing to that I is mean, this: you, I, I, I'm like sure it don't look like this, but 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 you got y'all got to think of this, man. Queen has been known to have a dirty house. She has been known to have a lot of imperfections. So let's not even act like. People don't have imperfections. And when I say that, I'm saying if somebody, maybe Queen has a nice hair, right? She has so, like, pretty hair. But it's something that is an imperfection with her. Everybody has imperfections. So it doesn't really matter. She's just delusional at this point in time. You shouldn't listen to her. And you guys are beautiful the way you are. Yeah, so don't play Squidward, no mind. And, um, that's yeah, about it, man. Just be you. That's our message. Just be you. Um, so all the nappy-headed girls, all the nappy-headed guys, um, be you, man. Somebody will love you for you, and we love you guys, and mm -hmm. we think that everyone is beautiful. As far as nappy-headed people, the phrase, I, don't, I think that we use it loosely. I caught myself saying it the other day to, to Mia, but she didn't really hear it, I don't think, because I stopped. Um... And I was about to say it because it's like you you really peep, you know you saying stuff, but you don't really like really mean it. So it's yeah, like yeah, you always say things that you don't mean, but if you ever get a chance to correct it, you guys just correct it, and you can express how you feel. But you know, even to if she was just to apologize to offend anyone, there was just no apology whatsoever. Yeah, if you do of wrong, anything it was a just even apologize for offending someone. Yeah. Not even the fact that oh, I'm I'm not gonna apologize for my opinion, but just apologize for offending the other person. It was just was no apology, and it was just so corny. So yeah, that's one thing, man. You make a mistake, apologize, and that's about it, man. So everybody that's aspiring to be YouTubers, everybody that's aspiring to be some type of public figure, realize that people are looking at you. They look up to you. They love you, and they do take what you say seriously. You say something wrong seriously. Apologize. Even if you don't think it's wrong, just apologize. Let the people or the demographics that you hurt or the people you offend, you know, know that you're sorry. So one, one more thing. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like if, like, if you're gonna be a public figure or you want to be this big superstar, mm -hmm. don't you gotta look at why you want to be it? If it's not to help someone. Or if it's not to motivate someone, then why do it? Is it because you just want to be seen? Is it because you just want to show off? 
It's like is it if you, you want wanna money? have let, 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 yeah, let's look at that. Why do you think platform, Queen wants to be wants to why do this? Why do it then? If you don't want to exactly. help people and be responsible for your actions, knowing that you're going to be in a certain light. Yeah, why do it? It does not you, make sense. You, That's true. I mean, it's not like you were born into, you know, um, the music industry. It's like you wanted to be on American Idol. You wanted to make it there. So when but you, you get make there, it, and why? That's the funny thing. Why do it? Now that you're there, why do it? Like, if you're not going to be responsible with your platform. I mean, I could talk about all the things that, you know, Drake say, or I could talk about all the things that Jay-Z do, or whatever the case may be. I, we, I could talk about their music, whatever, but I see them, um, you know, giving back to people, giving back to kids. Drizzy. And everything. Six so, guy. You already know. I don't know what Queen is doing. I mean, she got the supporters of, you know, loving hip-hop stars, and Cardi B followed her, her and likes her. And it's just like, but what are you doing to, like... I mean, it ain't even about who likes you. Because these people that like you, they're still dumb. Like, some of these people that like you are still idiots. But at the end of the day... But I still see them giving back and doing stuff, though. She just... I don't see her the doing anything. The people that like her, you said, giving her back, giving back. I mean, I don't know. Some of the people that like her. I don't, I don't even just, know who likes her. Them. But, that is true. I think that Queen is a flop, bro. I don't think that she's going to make it too far. I think that she did a horrible deal. I can, I can almost assure you guys because her managers don't know what they're doing. She should have hired a real net manager. But I'm, I'm telling you, she probably, she probably signed the 360. If she didn't sign the 360, I don't know what she signed. But the 360 is when you get basically a percentage of everything that artist sells and they get pennies on the dollar. One of the worst deals in the music industry. So I don't know what she signed, bro. But I, 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 I'm, I'm I sure she I mean, signed. I can't a dumb say deal. what what her managers are doing for her. They got her the record deal. You know, her her boost went up. But uh, but she did it. You think they got her record deal? She wrote medicine. I don't know. Can I ask you something? Do you think that her managers because got her record deal, or did she? Because she made that song. I think. You know what I mean? Prior. She, you think she wrote that song? Yeah. Because I, the only reason why I think she wrote that song is because it's not that good lyrically. It's just the fact that girls can relate to it. I, that's what I think. I don't think that it's no... That metaphor? Oh, my God! No, I think that it's just like you can relate to it. And people love relatable things. And YouTube boosted it up because of yeah. Chris. If she would have came, came out with it while she was with Chris in a happy relationship, I don't think it would be buzzing like it is now. Yeah. But... I mean, hey, I don't think her managers got that, got her that record deal. I think her record did. Once you got a booming ass track like that, them record companies is trying to get you. Yeah. They want some more. They want them percentages. But hey, I don't know what her managers are doing for her. Good luck to you, Queen man. We wish you nothing but the the, the best. We don't hate you. Um, we just don't, you know, support. Um, how can I say this in a nice way? Um, fuckery. Um, but at the end of the day, everybody lives and learns. So yeah, I just, I just don't like her. I don't support her, and yeah, but I you don't hate her. her, and you know, I mean, I don't at, hate at the end of the day, people people can people can I always I always support her, and I don't like her, and I wouldn't be worried about anything or really care what you know she does to anything. So. Okay, well, we'll be at your next concert. Psych. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. Thank you guys for watching. We love you guys. B and T back with another video. And BT Gang is... Like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell. You weren't supposed to say out. Oh. You didn't again. do it in so long. She didn't forgot. Do it again. BT Gang is... Out. Ha. <laughs>